in an October, November, and December full of a ton of baseball card releases. We got official confirmation today on 2024 Topps Chrome Update. And I have everything you need to know, what we know so far, what's rumored, and everything else about 2024 Topps Chrome Update in today's video. So what's going on, guys? It's Grip and Rip. And before we get into the video today, let's plug the giveaway as usual. So um, at 10,000 subscribers, we're giving away Hobby Packs, the newest product available at the time. <clears throat> All you got to do is is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content you see on the channel, and last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section of this video and countless other videos on what has been your favorite moment this baseball season. And I will pick the winner once we hit the goal of 2024, which is 10,000 subscribers so there is that. So let's not waste any more time and get into it. The first thing I am going to say, though, is I am at Toy Hire right now. So if you're watching this video when it goes live, there is a big toy slash card show in the Ohio area called Toy Hire. It is in Girard, Ohio. I will be there all day today. So if you see me, say hi. It should be a good time. Um, it's, a, it's a big event. It's a really, really big event. It's in this big, like, convention center kind of thing. Uh, I've been there in the past. It's pretty cool. And there's card vendors there typically, um, although it's not advertised as a card show, but there is card vendors there um, from time to time, so it should be pretty cool. So if you see me, uh, come say hi. I'll be there pretty much all day today. So there is that. So let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to say is um, hopefully you guys appreciated the Cosmic Chrome content um, we have recorded, uh, I can tell you, you know, if you want to know, and this is a good indicator, if you want to know how the community uh, perceives a product, all you got to really do is look at the view numbers, not of just mine, but like everyone else. And I'm here to tell you today that I don't think anybody gives two shits about Cosmic Chrome because man, oh man, my views for that product, pff, terrible. But it is what it is. Like I said in the other video, I, I truly think that Cosmic Chrome is probably done after this year. Uh, unless they change it up and make a cheaper format for people who don't want to spend three $400. Uh, listen, I, I like the design, but it's it just not resonating with people. It is truly not resonating with people. I, the views speak for itself. You know, people who maybe can't afford a box maybe don't care to watch the content about a box, and that just shows. So it shows that people really don't care about Cosmic Chrome, which I knew would be the case, but I still covered it regardless. But we're going to be talking about a product that I think a lot of people are going to be talking about, and that is going to be Cosmic... Oh, jeez. Uh, Chrome Update. I almost said Cosmic Chrome. Chrome Update. So we have official confirmation today on Chrome Updates. And let's start out with the confirmed stuff. So the confirmed stuff, as of course you've seen by the thumbnail of this uh, video, Jackson Holiday is the cover athlete for Chrome Update. Now, let's just talk about this for a second, because honestly, I'm actually kind of very confused by this one. You see, Jackson Holiday, and we all know it, it's not a secret, he really didn't have a good 2024. I mean, he had a really good, like, April, but when he was in the AAA, did really well, got called up, was terrible, got sent back down, did okay in AAA, got called back up, and didn't really do that good. So, I'm really confused at the cover athletes. Now, typically, in years past, they would put two athletes. I think last year was Jordan Walker and Ronald Acuna Jr., this year it's one, and I said, listen, I you know, I'm a Skeens guy, obviously, but you know, wouldn't it wouldn't it it been a way better decision to maybe put Skeens and Merrill on the cover? 
by far the most hyped up rookies out of this class are those two guys and even Chirio. Hell, you could probably put three people on the cover for all I care. Why didn't they do that? I mean, I get, you know, marketing is a big deal, but is Jackson Holiday on the front cover really going to market to people? Because he didn't do well. He bagged like what? Right around the Mendoza line? He was like, a, what, a 197 hitter in the, in the big leagues this year? So me personally, if I was in charge of the marketing, I would have probably put Merrill and Skeens and Chirio. Probably I would have put all three of them on there because those are by far the top three rookies of all of baseball, not even just the NL, all of baseball. You look at the American League rookies and, you're, and you look at the National League rookies this year, the National League rookies smoked the AL rookies out of the water this year. So I probably would have done that. But it, it, at the end of the day, it's just a package. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter about the um, box. It matters what's inside the box. That's what matters, right? So let's talk about what's inside the box. So for starters, pre-orders will be going live this week. I think it's on Tuesday or Wednesday this week at about 12 p.m. Eastern. So I would probably recommend you buy a box through tops.com. I am most likely going to be doing that as well. I say that because these card stores will probably up the price tremendously. And I'm even going to make a video about this probably tomorrow. I was looking at prices of pre-orders for update, paper base update on Google tonight. And these online retailers are charging $150 a box. Which, I mean, obviously, I, I would hope that's not the case for every retailer. But man, if that is the case, I think a lot of people are not going to be buying paper base update. And I'll probably talk a lot about that tomorrow after I can see what I can find and come up with about that. But what do I think the price is going to be for a hobby box and a jumbo hobby box? Well, realistically, I would hope it's the same as normal Chrome. Which would have been, I believe, like what, 190 and then 420 for Jumbo? I could be wrong with that number. I think I am. It's somewhere in that vicinity, though, I do believe. Um, but I I did buy a hobby box through them this year. That's why I know 190. Realistically, is like 200 um with, with tax added on and everything, but um, I, I would highly recommend if you want one of these boxes, which I assume you will, it's going to be foolish of you not to buy this product. There's a lot of products that you could skip this year upcoming. This is not one I would recommend you skipping because I think Chrome Update is probably out of all the products we have left to go over, uh, in 2024, Chrome Update's probably the one that you would not want to miss the most, even over Bowman Draft. I personally don't think Bowman Draft is going to be all that great this year. That's just my opinion of the situation. But um, Chrome Update's probably the, the most anticipated product for the rest of 2024. So I would definitely, if you have a card store that likes to overprice things a little bit, like let's say a hobby box at your card store is like $240 to $250, I would definitely buy through tops.com this week. You'll probably, I would hope the prices are the same as regular Chrome in July. But again, this is tops and fanatics we're talking about here. You just never know. You just truly never know. They could up the price to 220 this year for, for hobby and like 460 for jumbo. Who knows? Who knows at the end of the day? So let's talk formatting because formatting for, for this product has gone through a lot of shakeups throughout the years. So as you guys know, you know, for the longest time, Chrome Update just used to be a Target exclusive monster box. Then they turned it into hobby boxes, quote unquote, in 2022, which weren't really actually hobby boxes, by the way. They were just two monster boxes from Target compiled into one called a hobby box and upped the price a smidge which obviously got people really pissed off, myself included. I, I definitely made a video about that. I know I did, right? Um, so there is actual hobby boxes this year with actual autographs and things like that. There are jumbos. And then our favorite, Breakers Delight Scams, which 
You guys know my thoughts and opinions on that. Do not buy. Do not buy the Breakers Delight scams. And there are going to be blaster boxes. Of course, blaster boxes, um, I think, were a first-time thing last year. I saw them. I never bought one, but they were out last year. Um, they are coming back again this year. So blasters, for all you people who don't want to spend $200, which again, I don't blame you if you don't want to. $200 in this economy is a very steep asking point. Um, but if you, you know, if you can't, you know, afford a $200 box or maybe just want to spend $200 on a different release, which there's like literally 10 plus of between now and Christmas time, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. It's a smart money making move to probably not buy a box, but we'll talk about that, you know, when, when, when it comes time for that. Right. So we have a ton of formats this year for Chrome update, a lot of Chrome update to go around for everybody. Um, so there shouldn't be any shortage of Chrome Update because I certainly think, and I'm definitely going to make a video about this as well down the line, They once we get the odds, which the odds should be up next week, I would hope. I would hope the odds are up on tops.com when pre-orders go up next week. But regardless, regardless, they probably printed this product to the moon and back times 10. No joke. Like if you took all the lengths of all the cards they print, to the moon and back, I bet you, you might get close. Seriously, I'm not even joking when I say that. So um, there's going to be plenty of, of Chrome update to, to go around. When is the release date? Now, we don't know the release date yet. Now, we will know it next week, but, but let's use this for a reference. Last week, pre-orders went up for Stadium Club November 6th. A week later... Pre-orders are going to go live for Chrome Update. My birthday is on a Wednesday. My birthday is actually November 6th, and it's on a Wednesday. So that leads me to think, November 13th, a week later, we're going to have Chrome Update, which is a very realistic possibility, and I do not like that. Obviously, we have talked about this, but let's now put this scenario into reality. We have, <laughs> just just listen to this, right? This is how stupid this shit is, okay? Allen and Ginter, October 30th. One week later, November 6th, Stadium Club. And then, one week later, Chrome Update. Not to mention Holiday in the middle of there as well. I mean, four releases in 14 days? Sheesh. I mean... If you want to do the totals of the boxes, 200 for Chrome Update, 150, let's just say, for Stadium Club, so that's 350, and 125, so that's 475. $500 almost on cards in a span of two weeks. Yikes. <laughs> That's rough. That is absolutely brutal. And I made a video talking about this about a week ago. We made a video talking about all the products coming out the rest of the year on which ones you should skip and pass and like not buy and buy. I would highly recommend you watch that video because if we talked about that in this video or that video as well. If you add up all the prices of those boxes, it's about $2,000. Literally, if you get one hobby box of every product between now and Christmas, about $2,000. And that is steep. But meanwhile, meanwhile, get this. They have had all year to release these products, and they're doing it right now for the Christmas rush. You know what I say to that? Fanatics, go fuck yourself, honestly. That's what I have to say about it, honestly. Because I'm a real collector, and you're a real collector. We're, we're all real collectors watching this video right now, okay? How reasonable is it during this time of the year, when Christmas is coming up, you have to buy gifts and, and everything like that. Maybe you even go on vacation. I'm going to Tennessee the first week. I'm going to Nashville, Tennessee the first week of December, okay? How do they expect people to buy all of these products at this point in the year? Not to mention how the economy, how bad it is right now. Do you see how unreasonable and how stupid they are? 
if they would have spaced these products out like they should have all year, they've had how many months? February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Nine months. Nine months I just counted out on my hands to space out these products. And they want to put them all in the last three months of the year. You know how stupid that is? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. And I, I've talked about this, and I'll say it again to wrap this video up. There are definitely going to have to be decisions made on what products you buy and don't buy. Now, luckily, luck, luckily, my birthday's coming up, so I'm going to have a little bit of extra money to maybe, you know, buy a couple of extra boxes I might have not bought if my birthday wasn't on November 6th. But regardless, regardless, aside the point, that's a lot of money to be spending on cards in a span of 14 days. Seriously. That's literally a paycheck, a two-week paycheck for some people. About 500 bucks, give or take. So, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It's pretty bad. It's pretty brutal. But uh, hopefully they fix it next year. I, I would love nothing more. Here's my Christmas wish. Here's my Christmas wish. They could fix the schedule and actually make it reasonable next year. That would be a start, but we'll have to wait and see. But regardless, to wrap the video up, I am excited for Crumb Update. I am very excited for Crumb Update. Um, going to be a little pricey, yeah, but I think it's going to be worth it. Uh, I mean, I would assume the autograph checklist is going to be pretty good. I assume so. It's about a 200-card checklist, I think I read. I think I read, yeah, the one on, I think on Beckett.com, I literally just read 200 cards. So they're going to be like, you know, not... The, you know, the, the exact checklist in paper update, it's not going to be the exact same, obviously, because one's 330, one's 200. At least that's what it said on Beckett.com, so take that with a grain of salt. I don't really remember the checklist only being 200 cards, so that's kind of weird, but I don't know. I've seen crazier things, but regardless. Um, it should be a very stacked rookie checklist and rookie debut checklist, I will say that. So the entire checklist is realistically probably going to be rookies and rookie debuts at that point, so... Uh, yeah, so either way, I'm excited for it. I'm definitely probably going to pre-order. I, I, I think I will. Although my guys' prices are not really that drastically different from Tops.com. So I don't know. It depends. It's just a really weird time to be a sports card collector right now. So I don't know. But either way, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video today. So before we get out of here and open a pack of Score and Treat, let me get it out of the pack here. Let me tell you about today's sponsor of the video. This video today is sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. We have partnered up to deliver huge savings for you guys who watch my videos. So click the link down below and download the app today. Use my promo code Grip and Rip. Use my promo code Grip and Rip at checkout, all one word, to save $20 off your first purchase. And believe me, in today's economy, 20 bucks might not go too far, but it might give you a little extra breathing room to maybe get a bag of popcorn or a couple slices of pizza or maybe one slice of pizza, depending on the price of the food in your stadium. I don't know. But either way, regardless, use my code and save 20 bucks and enjoy whatever events you go to. Obviously, baseball is coming to an end, so unless your team's, you know, going to the championship series or World Series, football, hockey just started, and the NBA is just about to start, you know, and things like that. Concerts, WWE, you name it, it's all covered on there. So here we go, man. I will say, I am kind of excited to to stop at opening score a treat. I have intentionally not bought. I have seen score football a couple times now, uh, since we have opened it, of course, the last time. I've seen it a couple times, but I said, you know what? I'm going to need all the money I can get when it comes to buying all these other products at the end of the year because I'm definitely buying those three releases and, I mean, and Holiday. I'm buying Holiday as well. So I, I'm buying all four of those releases in, in October slash November. And then we have Archives, which Archives, I don't know. I don't really know what to expect with Archives. I, speaking of Archives, I've heard Archives actually might be getting a price increase uh, that's not too friendly to collectors. So... We will, uh, we'll wait and see about that. But uh, until then, I can't speculate because I don't want to speculate, but that's what I've heard. So we'll see here. Um, we got Drake London and the rookie card always in the middle. We got Jonathan Brooks running back for the Panthers. So no idea who that is, but cool. Either way, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think about Chrome updates. What do you speculate the price may be? I'd love to maybe hear your guys' predictions 
on the price because that's going to be a very interesting debate on the price. So we'd love to hear what you guys have to think, and I'll see you guys in the next one.